Welcome back to uh, another painting demonstration. Um, this one I'm just going to show you a really uh, uh, a nice and easy way to simplify your paintings. Uh, you can see I'm going to start out with the um, hake brush or haki brush as it's known in um, it's a Japanese uh, paintbrush. You can see it quite a, a nice large brush fits lots and lots of water on. Um, you can just see how much water I'm using with this. Um, there's a little bit of a shine in the left hand corner of the paper there. So you can see how much water I'm working with, uh, which is quite nice. Um, it just stops you sort of messing with details. And um, like I said, this video is all about simplifying. Um, I want a, a realistic, nice, simple um landscape so that's the intention for this one um and this one's inspired by um sort of could be the lake district or scotland or like my last video and probably the last couple of videos i've sort of gone like um gone for this sort of theme um sort of english sort of countryside uh scottish that sort of thing so you've got lots of mountains lots of uh nice uh, trees and some a bit bit of uh, water in the foreground so i just wanted to do a quick one this is a, a really short video um i would appreciate any comments let me know what you think in the comment section if you uh, like this video then please do give me a thumbs up and also if you're new to this channel then please consider subscribing um, i do post videos each and every week um so yeah I, I would appreciate that so i'm just adding a few um um marks i guess to the um, hills you can see uh, as i painted um this is wet on wet so you get this uh haze fuzzy sort of um soft diffused look and then i wanted to dry the paper and start with um a second sort of um well, not a second layer. This this is actually the trees that I'm doing now. Um, so I'm using the side of the brush, the belly of the brush. Um, the the brushes don't really release uh, the paint very well like that, but it does give a nice texture. So for trees and foliage, it's quite nice to do that. Gives that broken sort of uh, foliage look with the uh, help of the paper. This is a cold press, hundred and forty pound paper. Um, so I'm using using that technique. So just adding a little bit of darker colour. I'm I'm really keeping this painting quite muted. I don't want anything too bright, too vibrant. Um, so my colours are quite um, quite dark, quite um, uh, muted. So that that's the kind of look that I'm going for. Um, so it's a nice simple one. I'm not mixing too many colours. It's quite easy to follow if you wanted to follow. Um, for the sky, use the blue and then sort of uh, grade it, grade it a bit as I came down. And then just from that mix, I just added some um, some green, some some more blue, a little bit of um, raw sienna, and it's giving me these sort of grey tones. As you can see in the painting, there's there's a little bit of colour, not too much, um, so it's quite. Um, quite subdued the, the scene that's what i'm after um but it's entirely up to you you can use any color you want you can use nice punchy colors if that's your thing or you can sort of knock it back like this now this is one of my favorite techniques um you've seen this i'm sure in in a lot of my other videos how i do um, scraping out rocks so again it's just with a, a little credit card uh, one that i uh, cut up so I scrape out the rocks, uh, put some colour on first, some dark, and then scrape them out when the when the pigments sort of halfway dry, and then uh, just going in with some darks just behind the scrape the what I've scraped out, and that gives me the highlight and the contrast of the dark. So it just really makes the uh, rocks pop. So if you're after that sort of look, um, uh, if you if you want me to make a video on that. Uh, scraping rocks then i'd be more than happy to uh to do that just let me know in the comment section if that's what you're interested in seeing um more in depth on how to make these um 
rock scraping techniques. It's really, really quite simple. Um, just, just need to practice a little bit, but I can make a video of that if you really want. Just let me know in the comment section. So I'll just remove the tape um, and this is it. It's all really simple, quite straightforward, um, not using too many colours, leaving it quite subdued. A couple of birds in the sky as well. And that's it. I hope you like this one. Please do leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.